Hey guys, Hypno here. Um, I've had a couple extra questions about the mushroom farm. Um, so I just put together another video here that I'd go and answer your questions. Let's go ahead and sign. What? Um, that's not supposed to happen. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Uh. Wow. Um. <laughs> these weren't supposed to get out of the mushroom farm. I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't even know how they could get up here. Oh man. Oh. That is terrible. It's a lot of mushrooms. Do they go through the door here? Oh no. <sighs> what have I done? Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix this I guess. So let's uh, get to those questions. Still can't believe that happened. Okay, so I had a question about the length of the room, the width, and that kind of stuff. Uh, let's start here. Uh, when the water comes out on this first pad, this is six long. Uh, drops down and then this is eight long so the water comes to the edge right here and stops uh, but the mushrooms will fall off the edge um, the width of this room is 13 long and the water comes down through this hole to make the conveyor and the collection system So the reason that this is six long and not seven and then drops is because the water comes out here and then drops down. So this is acting like a source block at this point and this has the ability to go seven and then drop down. But the side ones don't have that same drop off. So what happens is the water comes down here, it goes over one and then it'll go this way. And what I wanted to happen was have all three of these spots drop down at the same point and then be able to go eight so they can all stop at this edge um, what was happening when this was at seven let's just show you real quick so the water comes out but these two blocks stop so the water comes here and then it's gonna do it again here the water will go over one and then it'll go seven before it stops so that's why this is six long okay so I guess probably the most important question was uh, asked um, that is how fast does this farm actually work um, I've been in this room tweaking it for a while, um, making the water system a little bit better. And my client's been running for about four hours now since the last time I've cleared out all of these mushrooms. So you can see it's, uh, I don't know, about half full. about I, I'm gonna I'm not gonna count them but I'm gonna guess there's about 20 red ones and looks like a little more brown about 25 so it doesn't work super fast but uh, like I said before in a comment I don't think there's ever gonna be a point in time where you're gonna be like dang I need to get 60 mushroom soups right this second uh, anytime you need food I mean they should be ready for you to harvest so you can get five or six uh, soups going at, at a time okay and the final question I had was about the water system um, 
Let me go ahead and take you up to that and show you more in depth how that works. I've changed this out a little bit and I've cleared it out more. Um, so the water source block comes right here. And I'm not exactly sure what changed, but uh, when I first tried this before, the water would not come this direction unless I had a block right here. But now, I'm just going to put that block there for testing so it doesn't harvest the farm. Uh, the water is coming this direction. Not exactly sure what changed. Um, let me show you the conveyor and collection area. Yeah, the water just splits off, comes straight down here, and just meets up. Okay, let's take that back. So this uh, section of the three-way splitter is uh, seven long, so the water comes this edge, drops down, and will continue on. This is seven long, drops down. And down here is where it splits. The water comes off this edge, hits right here, goes three separate ways. Sorry about that, that was my phone. And then it comes out of the holes over here. Okay, um... Hope that clears up any questions you guys had. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Uh, happy to help. Thanks, guys.